Hello and welcome. Sport and federations in the country are reviewing their performance at the 13th, uh, 13th African Games in Ghana. Nigeria finished second place behind Egypt with a total of 121 medals. And the federations are looking ahead to forthcoming competitions. Our correspondent, Jen Wese, tells us more. Africa's number one badminton player, Anulu Akbokberi, was the first athlete to win gold for Team Nigeria at the 13th African Games. Akbokberi defeated compatriot Godwin Olufu in the men's singles finals. Ikechuku Victor also won bronze in the semi final. The three medals from badminton men's singles contributed to Nigeria's 121 medal haul, consisting of 47 gold, 34 silver, and 40 bronze medals. We are expected to get at least two gold medals in this championship because that was what we did in the last one in Morocco. Uh, but we fell short by one. And um, luckily, it was an Olympic qualifier and it cemented the qualification of one of our players for the Olympics. Doka Sajoke Adeshokan was a former African number one female player who represented Nigeria at the last Olympics with a brief absence from the sport due to domestic reasons. There seems to be a decline in Nigeria's women's badminton, but the federation looks to the future. Even before we went for the championship, we knew that our female team was not as strong as it used to be. We didn't just do so too badly. At least we were able to get some medals in the women's event. We are really working hard to see how we can you know, discover, nurture and groom the younger ones. We have some young players who are stepping up and we hope to expose them more. And we know with that, their level of game will definitely come up. The Paris 2024 Olympics is scheduled to be held from 26 July to 11 August. Nigeria for the first time feature in the Olympics men's singles and also a back-to-back -back appearance. And I know of uh, as of today, has qualified. We are waiting for the qualification window to close and they will officially publish the names of quali uh, qualified players. He's the only one who has qualified from Nigeria this time. And like I said, uh, once that list comes out, the next thing is preparing him to have a good Olympics. The development of athletes and preparation for competitions require lots of funds. However, financing sports in Nigeria remains a major challenge. Funding is very critical. If I think there's enough uh, resources, oh no. Definitely not. It's very far cry from what is needed. We are hoping that government will be able to do more and then also the private sector should be able to step in. But Mainton won a solitary gold, two silver and three bronze medals at the 13th African Games. All eyes are on Nigerian badminton ahead of the Olympics. Jane Francis Nweze, TVC News, Abuja.